Our wildness lives deep within the forest where silence dances between breaths. It's in our skin, in the way our hips constantly long to move in circles. It's in our messy hair and in the fullness of the love we have for ourselves, exactly as we are. I feel it in my bones. Fall open, your wildness will carry you. friends I hope you all are doing well wherever you are so today I wanted to talk about altars and why it's like a powerful thing to have to help anchor in your power as a creative or on your healing path or on your embodiment journey I feel like it's something that you can come to every day and kind of collect all of your energy in one place and kind of see the energies that you're working with within yourself and within life in general um, and it helps bring focus and it helps just remind you of who you are on the deepest level because like honestly when we're going when we're on a healing journey and we're going through a hard time um, it's most of the times we get kind of like lost in the wound matrix of what I like to call it the wound matrix or sometimes we get lost in our thoughts and we need to be pulled back and what our altar is is an anchor point for us to come to on a daily um, to remind us of who we are and so that constant reminder I don't know if you guys have feel like this But I feel like I need constant reminders of my internal power and my internal confidence and my connection um, outside of Just what's going on right here and so that has been powerful for me and I love creating altars and so I just thought I would bring that onto the channel and start sharing a little bit about um, how I create altars and I'm actually about to switch out one of my tables so I have just brought in two new chairs into my office or my spiritual space and well every space in my house is spiritual but you know what I mean um, but I did get this new table and I'm gonna be switching it out and like recreating an altar so I just thought I would take you along for that and kind of show you how I'm going to create that and you can kind of see me clear up the space a little and um, I'm also gonna talk about how cleaning up your space and moving things around can really shift your energy. And um, I've never gotten really into feng shui, but I have a feeling that it's gonna be very similar to what I naturally feel to all this, but I don't know much about feng shui, but I do know that every single time I move something in my room or in my house at all, um, or clean up a space, like if a bookshelf has been messy for months or something, I clean it up, I feel different on the inside. And so I definitely want to talk about that and how sh changing your space around can shift the energy within. And um, I just always take the opportunity to see everything um, in my life as a reflection of what's going on inside. Um, I'm a very self-reflective person. And yeah, so I'm just going to share some of those insights while I am recreating this altar space. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Okay, I already had to change my battery. <laughs> so um, my altar spaces, I have one that is very clear right now, and then I have one that is extremely messy that has kind of just collected everything. And then I have another one that I don't even know what's going on. That's one I'm gonna be changing around today. And so um, in my work and in my on my healing journey which when I say healing journey I'm just always in the process of just paying attention to what's coming up inside of me and not letting anything mark me in a way that is not my true self so I'm always just constantly filtering out anything that's not me so whether it's belief systems emotions things that people say that trigger something in me I welcome the trigger and I help um, I dive in and look at it so I can release it and I'm do I do the best I can so when I'm talking about my healing journey that is what I'm talking about but yeah so I feel like it is time for a refresh in my space in here and so yeah I'm wanting to bring in a fresh altar space one that has been reconnected with my current goals my current um, to help me pretty much stay on my path in life. I'm, I'm currently, like you guys know this, I've been talking about this in the last forever videos, but I'm working on my book 
and my proposal and so it's taking me a really long time and I just want to refocus and have something to anchor me into my power so I know that I can do this and so I can yeah so I'm wanting to redo all of these altars I try to have one in each direction um, and then the one that I work at um, I usually have like a little altar on the side of my desk right here while I'm working because everything I do is soul work to help inspire and to help bring hope into the world. And so I always have an altar there with my candle lit um, so I can always remember to be coming from a place of light within myself and to realize the power of transformation. Like I said, altars can be this reminder of who you are and your power to create and your power to release like instantly. Um, and I definitely need that reminder because sometimes I'll start holding on to things and feeling like I can't heal, like, or, oh, I just can't get past this block. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. I just need to calm down and be really, really present with it and be in a space and like be centered in my heart and look at it from a different view. So anyways, so this is what we're doing today. So. Okay, I'm gonna have you have a look. Alrighty, so this right here, whoop, this is the new table that I got, and um, I'm gonna be switching this one out with this one. So I've just been feeling not as connected as I usually am, and I kind of feel cluttered in my mind and in certain areas of my life. And so this is actually my West altar. And so I'm, I'm really feeling good by taking all this down and recreating it because I know that that means there's gonna be a huge transformation for me emotionally and in my thoughts because that's what West represents um, is water and emotions and stepping into the unknown with grace and joy. And so for me, the fact that I'm clearing this up and I'm actually energetically clearing as I'm sweeping as well to kind of clear up any stagnant energy. Oh, and look at the little crescent moons that are at the bottom of each leg on the table. Isn't that cute? And I'm just smudging the space with some Palo Santo cedar wood and white sage and just setting my intentions of clearing out all the old so I can allow the new to come in. There are so many different kinds of altars that you can create as long as you are choosing objects that mean something to you and something that empowers you. And you know, our altars are just an external representation of that connection that's already happening within us. These are our daily physical reminders. There are places of power to remind us to step into our power. And so the altar is just a reflection of you. And so make it your own. And if you already have your own altar space, I would love to see it. So if you have created an altar video, I would love you for you to share a link in the comments. And yeah, I really hoped you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you soon. Sending you lots of love.